Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampath you watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews guys and you can see here c android version android version 12 it is let me dial it out okay it's android version 12 not 13 android 12.1 precisely and 8.12 is the c android version here and you can see here vendor security patch level is first may 2022 but latest security patch is 5th december 2000 22 that's available here and kernel user is 4.1 to Celanti kernel they have shifted to Celanti kernel now on build date you can see december 19 2022 is the latest available build and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes and 34 seconds and 5 milliseconds you can see the scores here the maximum is 193 and average is 184 and minimum is 166 and it's throttled to 93 percent of its max performance which is very good in my opinion you can see you hardly see any yellow lines and even red lines here that's how the performance in this particular rom based on the cpu throttling app and now moving into home screen you can see here i even kept the battery bar and some of the other uh, quick settings panel and status bar you can see here all the things i have been added here you can check out and this is how the home screen looks like it's very simple and there are some widgets also if you want you can add them just hold here and you get settings here this is the home screen's customization you can see here even the app drawer also you can customize from here what happened let me again go to here and even you get widgets as i said before this is the android 12 version not android 13 and settings miscellaneous settings you get some other settings also here and icons also you can customize app drawer you get again some of the customization themed icons is also included in the uh, launcher settings itself and recent apps also you can see from here its responsiveness is very very smooth in my opinion and for a poco x3 if you are looking for any smoothest rom already i made a poll on this uh, best roms available many people chosen for this uh, CR drive version for the Android 13 but Android 12.1 is even smoother and even stable enough to use it as a daily driver I will be showing some of the benchmark results starting with Android benchmark you can also see the app opening time and you can see 3,63,718 is the score set which is maximum available for POCO X6 NFC and temperature rise was 1.2 degree Celsius and temperature battery drop is during this testing was just two percent entire this android benchmark test took two percentage of battery drain during this testing and again geek bench scores you can also see the app opening time it's very quick compared to android 13 and single score performance is 550 and multi score 1626 multi score could have been better and kernel as i said before linux 4.14 point two eight to Ceylon T kernel they have shifted to this one right now and you can see recent apps which is smooth in transition you can see and also fast enough that's very important just being smooth is not important it should be fast enough to use the multitasking apps and recent apps and calculator you get this kind of calculator and biggest thing what you know in this thing is uh, the I want to show you that you can see the keyboard experience the key travel i mean the key spacing is a little bit better here compared to google board applications you can see gboard application better than that this one has that very good in my opinion if people like that let me know in the comment section guys or if you want to use the same gboard you can install through play store and change it in the settings that's another problem here and safety net status yes of course and a tall rom for poco x3 it will get passed you can use all the ott sorry payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm you know sba whatever you want to use you can use that those things going to work fine yes and now this is a gallery application you get some of the options here details slideshow and print that's a simple gallery application is available and you can choose here albums and everything and camera the basic camera application has been given just ignore that and uh, go to settings here and into information into the more just disable this camera once you install any gcam ports like what i use here always arnova build gcam you can see here there's a version of arnova gcam i use which is very good in my opinion you can see the output is also quite good here 
okay let me focus this you can see the output of the image here which is pretty good in my opinion no thumbnail okay it should be used in google photos only just once okay yeah that's how the output which is very good the arnav build gcam i'm using it from last two years now which is pretty good in my opinion you should definitely try it out this arnav build gcam on any poco x custom rooms if you have a support of nx camera then that would be different but gcam is gcam you get better uh, high definition images like uh, hdr mode is, which will be better in google camera mode i mean this camera application and one more added advantage in the CR droid is you get audio effects feature this is simply missing in the android 13 rom so you can see here you can enhance the audio experience using this it acts as like dolby atmos also included with this browser if you want you can replace it with google chrome or any your favorite browser that's not the problem here and drm information let me install and you can also see the typing experience here it is very good in my opinion i really liked it because we are already using that gboard from couple of years now this board gboard uh, this one the keyboard will definitely make you difference and it's very good in my opinion even typing experience is very good and level one certification you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution on this poco x3 after this cr droid and a 12 based custom rom with december security patch update and you also get game space mode here and you can see the quick settings panel this is how the quick settings panel looks it's an under 12 style guys you get all the power button and edit option and even the settings button underneath the quick settings toggles and i also kept this option you can see the animation since it's for a dark theme and uh, other than this one you can see those animations we already seen in android 13 also but here it's smooth in my opinion and uh, this is how interface and everything let's move into actual settings you can see how responsive and how speedy the ui is very good in my opinion and here you get see our settings there are a lot more customization you can just see the status bar what all the things you can do with this particular rom and how the font has been changed here everything will be customizable i already explained these things in previous videos of share based on android all you can check out for those things i don't want to waste the time in this video and one important thing is just simple here just unlock high fps in games and unlimited photo storage just you need to enable this in the miscellaneous settings then you can get those options in google photos and high fps count in bjmi or pubg mobile like games and paper complaining about apex legends guys this is a snapdragon 732g power smartphone which is launched two years ago at that time there was not a game called apex legend but still you can playable but uh, it's an high demanding game guys pubg mobile and those are a little bit lower compared to apex legends and genshin impact which is even bigger games you don't expect that kind of gameplay or smooth gameplay with those big games in this poco x3 definitely not it's not a flagship smartphone but you can play those games but don't expect like a flagship smartphone because the hardware level on this poco x is just limited to 732g and adreno 619 gpu that you need to keep in mind and google maps google pay all these things are working fine no problem regarding that and you also get this game space here and if i move to show you this actual settings here it's very smooth i already explained battery battery usage has it recorded yeah very good screen time of one hour nine minutes it was around 60 percent of the start of the uh, flashing method now it's 48 which is pretty good in my opinion the battery life is also really really good in this particular rom once you flash the rom and use it for a couple of days you will definitely notice the battery life what you are getting from this rom compared to any android 13 roms is far more better in this particular rom you will definitely notice that once you start using this particular rom that's i really like it the battery life is excellent in this particular rom again and again i'm speaking yes it has that kind of battery life in this particular rom and sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here headphone type and even vibration haptic feedback pattern also you can enable from here it make little bit of difference not a big difference yeah but it will make a difference and me sound enhancer headphone type and preset type and hi-fi audio system is also given and as i said before there is the audio effects feature also you can tune these things to get a very good output from headphone jack and also the 
dual stereo speakers which are working fine this how the rom is i hope so explained everything here again display you get this minimum maximum and peak refresh rate low refresh rate from 60 to 120 it's given and there is also option of color sacked boosted nothing more customizable in this section but that's how it is and the good thing is about dark theme there is a pure black theme which is my personal favorite you can see the difference here it will be in pitch black condition in order to use in the dark mode which is really really good in my opinion that's how the dark mode here and mic axis camera axis those are working for no problem regarding that and settings one thing what i need to nitpick is this uh, pill if you guys can see here it's very tiny in my opinion i really don't know into system into gestures into system navigation into gesture navigation there is no option to increase the pill radius that would be the better option if they would have been added in this version of the say android but i don't know in the previous versions it had it and even android 13 some of them have it but pill length there is option but there is no option to increase the radius it's hardly visible guys you can switch between the apps from that but once it's visible it will make little bit of difference and it will be better in my opinion what do you guys tell about that let me know in the comment section guys and i'll be showing the pubg mobile gameplay i hope extend everything here battery notifications apps those all the things and security features you get both face unlock and fingerprint unlock there is no app locker here but anyhow let me show the fingerprint unlock which is very very quick as you can see much faster than any android 13 roms and face unlock again even it is also quick and you can see here there is a double tap to sleep and double tap to wake and even face unlock feature those are working fine and this is the music application here i'm in the widget that's how it is see guys android 12 is lot more stable compared to android 13 as of now hence i i make you to switch to this rom if i want to use it as a daily driver of course you are getting android 13 based roms like evolution x cr dread the same cr dread i will be reviewing this new version of cr dread android 13 also there is a lot more difference you can notice in terms of stability and responsive of the ui and even the benefits you get from android 12 are much better the customizations those are simply missing as of now at least once it will get more and more updates it will be even android 13 is also going to be better but my recommendation is always go to oldest one version older and enjoy the stability and smoothness in the ui and let's see pubg mobile gameplay how it handles in this particular rom you can also see the fps count on the left side of the screen hope so you guys can see and you can see here the bgma gameplay i will show you the settings obviously you get the smooth plus 90 fps option because it's available in miscellaneous settings that what i showed you previously you need to enable that you can see how smooth the gameplay is this generally we don't expect in android 13 roms it takes a little bit of time for that roms to get similar experience or similar performance that's how it is and you can see the fps drop also hope so you guys are seeing that and loudness is also fine here the speaker quality is fine no problem even with headphone jack it is fine connectivity i have no problems in this particular room i mean through wi-fi and even with mobile data connection and making calls are also fine here no problem regarding those things and if you play with some more fingers it will be even better experience i'm just showing with the default settings here don't judge my gameplay just see how it handles here and even if you turn on gyroscope it also works fine in this particular room no problem you will experience a smooth gameplay here that's how the sea droid 8 point some version of this android 12 which is really good in my opinion everything is working fine i straight away switched from android 13 roms i felt so smooth and so responsive in the ui 
that generally i don't see in android 13 as of now because it should still have some more updates on that and i will come back here this is the experience of this ui you can see the ram management is also fine and you get this clear all and take a screenshot option select option is missing here this all the benefits you get in the android 12 based roms especially this cr droid which are pushing the updates for android 12 also as of now it's uh, with the uh, december security patch we hope so and they will continue or they will continue with android 13 like similar experience this how the cr droid guys let me show the charging animation here you guys can see now let me turn off and you can see it will show you charging rapidly it takes a little bit of time to show that and good thing in this particular rom is you won't get any heating overheating or anything like that it should show charging rapidly because i already tested it out it should slowly increase that's how it is guys hope so i will update it if it is stick to only slowly only then i will update in my comment section you can check out this how the sear droid rom for poco x3 slash nfc flashing method is very simple this is vanilla build you need to flash separate g apps that you need to keep in mind if you like the video give it a like guys and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button down below guys that's all in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now